This is KSN News 3 at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Thatcher. Jeff Herndon has the evening off. After 100 years in the building tonight, East High hosted its first home football game at East High. It drew a massive crowd for the landmark event. KSN's Craig Andrus at the game tonight. And Craig, what was the field from the crowd? Well, I've got to tell you, this thing was fun. The game had strong energy. Tonight's matchup, not just for current students, alum from as far back as the 70s, packed onto the field to finally watch their team on their home turf. With the band blaring and players hitting the gridiron. Oh, it's high school football. I mean, it's just wonderful. I mean, the crowd packed around the field, loving the unique atmosphere. I am so excited. Let me tell you, this is the only game that's ever known to have been played here on campus. Blue Aces fans finding seats where they could are bringing their own with no stadium around the East High practice field. I do not mind bringing a chair. I keep them in my trunk just for occasions like this. Danita's here supporting her son in the band and loves having a home game at home. It is, especially when you only live like two minutes away. So, and not having to drive out to South or Northwest, so it's nice. No stadium, no problem with food and food trucks filling out the concessions for fans. No stadium lights, no problem. They started the game at four in the afternoon. We don't have lights, so we have to play this early, but it, it's cool. We got all these alums, and you know, we old people, we can't stay out too late. To get the party started, East High got a couple of touchdowns early, taking advantage of the home field. The atmosphere has plenty of fans hoping this 100th anniversary celebration game leads to big things for the Blue Aces. And wouldn't it be incredible if East High could win state on the 100th anniversary of the school? East High 100th, 100th anniversary, that is. The events continue this weekend with alum band, choir, even a parade. Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.